can't believe oh it. Oh my gosh, she has teeth or something in there. All right, I want to welcome you to this episode of BTR Outdoors. And on this episode, I'm making a video showing you how to rig and set up different types of bobbers. Even I'll show you uh, a few little hooks, some lures, and like I said, just the basic setup, how to get you on some fish. And this is a very beginner guide for people that are just starting to learn how to fish. So stay tuned and let's get going. All right, just want to let you know that even in the shade, this Texas heat is getting me. It is so hot right now. We're not even into August. Usually August is our real hot month, but July has been pretty hot. But I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something and you know, like I always say, go fishing. I love fishing. It's one of my favorite hobbies to do. Uh, I love it with a passion. I try to go as often as I can and just take somebody fishing. Have a great time. Teach somebody how to uh, fish if you already know how. Take a kid fishing. I love seeing these fishing rodeos that we have around town. It's getting the next generation out there that loves to fish. So if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Everybody that's already subscribed, thank you. Our channel is growing. I think we're like 1150 uh, subscribers, which is awesome. Uh, hit that like button. Also hit that uh, notification button to let you know when I put on a, another video. And leave a comment. I love answering comments. So until next time, we'll catch you later. Okay, let's start with the easiest bobber rig. Everybody has seen these type of bobbers. And I got a little split shot just to give it a little bit of weight and just a little bit of hook to put some uh, minnows, worms, anything like that. And these bobbers are super easy to install. All you do is push this little red button, put it in there, and I always put my thumb at the very bottom. Push that down, make sure it's in that little hook, and there you go. And you can move that bobber up and down, whatever depth that you need. With this line going to your fishing pole, you got your bobber. I like putting a little split shot just to give it a little bit of weight to get your uh, your bait down in the water, and then just any any type of little hook. This right here is a perfect setup for like perch. You, know, you can catch anything on a bobber. That's why I like bobbers so much. But this is probably one of the simplest bobbers that you can use. Everybody recognizes that red and white bobber. All right, let me show you another one. And we got this uh, type of bobber, almost like a pencil bobber. I'm really not sure what you call it. Um, I do like using them, especially in you know calm days um, when the you know the wind's not blowing. You got some really calm water. And again, this is super easy to put on. All you do is there's a spring. And you set a little groove, that's where you're going to put your line. So it's literally just like that. You cast it in there and this is uh, going to your fishing pole. It's going to be bobbing, just bobbing up and down. And I got this hooked to another really simple, it's just a little swivel with a little clip on the end of it. So, if you want to, you can go ahead and buy these pre-made 
hooks that are already tied to a little leader. They're super cheap, about a, you know, a buck a package. And all you do is push that clip, clip out, take it off. And if you want to put another hook, different size hook, you just slide it on there. And there you go. And if you wanted to do some uh, split shot weights, you could put that on there too. It just depends on what type of bait you're using. Like a minnow, you'd want him to swim around. So you wouldn't really need no weight. But a you know, piece of worm, shrimp, or anything like that. Definitely probably want a little bit of weight. And plus, uh, the more weight you have, the easier it is to cast out. This bobber is almost the same as last time. They are a little bit cheaper. They usually come in like a three pack for a... I think these were a dollar thirty-seven, and these are super easy too. It's almost kind of like the uh, first bobber. Get the line off here. You just pull down that red thing. And you can exposes that hook. Just like that. So I just run my line through there. Then they have these little holes, which that little hook goes into, so we can go to either one. And this, you can change the depth very easy. But this is a super, super easy bobber to use also. Here's another type of bobber. And these are really simple. You can see that has a slit going down it. Basically you just take these little, let me see, tubes out on both ends. And you would take your line and slide in that crack. And then to secure it, you just slide the tubes back in. And there you go. This bobber is really simple also. And you can tie on a hook, whatever you want to uh, use. These are just some super easy, super cheap bobbers. Because the last one I'm going to show you is called, I like these because they're weighted already. They already have weight on it. So if you got like a little jig at the end of your line and you're trying to get some distance when you're casting it out, saying you use the ultralight uh, rod or reel, um, these make it so much easier to cast out. And these are just like the first ones you just push down. Run your line through there. Run it along the side. And you're basically going to do the same thing. Run through there. Make sure the hook's down in there. And there you go. They're super, super easy to change the depth of. And if you need to, you can always push one side to um, to make it easier to slide back and forth. It's going to set up like this. And when you get a bite, it's just going to go down. But that weight right there makes it so much easier to cast out. Now, what are some of the baits that you're going to be putting on the end of these hooks? Well... You know, we got different type of hooks. We have the uh, snailed hooks, which are super cheap. I like to have a couple of jigs. Not only that big, um, but just for the video purpose, that's a pretty good size one. 
I like having these, I call them worm hooks, because they have these little barbs right there, or a good bait hook. And what that does is when you put a worm on, shrimp, there's just more places for it to grab and keep that bait on the hook. So I really love these hooks. These are good hooks for like minnows. I mean, they're a good all around hook, but for a good bait hook, nothing like that. And you can get these snailed also where they're already on a leader. I already showed you our swivel with the little clip. Super cheap. We have the uh, split shot because you might need a little bit of weight. So what are we going to put these hooks on? Or what are we going to put the hooks on? You can use basically worms, shrimp, minnows, any kind of bait, grasshoppers, anything you would want to use on those bait hooks. Then for artificial, I just like using these little cheap 50 cents to a dollar little jigs. Super easy. They come in a million sizes and a million colors. I used to use these all the time when I was a kid. They used to run like 10 cents a piece. Or a little bit more than that now, but these were always really good, you know, especially for crappie. I like using like the uh, Bobby Garland with these jigs. Again, they come in different sizes, different colors. Same way with the jigs. Different sizes, different colors. Just find some you like and it's that simple okay your bobbers again this is the old traditional bobber these things have been around forever everybody can recognize this bobber they're super easy to put your line on and this is probably the most traditional bobber that you could use you got your two types of what I call pencil bobbers. You got a star foam and then just kind of a, another one that's a little bit more um, better made. Has a little bit different latch to it than this one. If I can move my thumb, there it is. But they're basically the same. It's just, you know, whatever you like. But these are really simple. You just hook up one, your line to the sides here, and that's it. You have your one where you run the line through, then stick the little tubes in there. Um, these aren't my favorite. Sometimes when I'm catfishing, I'll use these on my leader line just to uh, maybe keep my bait a little bit off the bottom if I'm fishing on the bottom. Um, but for normal, just easy fishing, I normally don't use these type bobbers. Here's my favorite, my weighted bobber. Now these come with, uh, you can also get these with no weights, but these are so much easier to cast, to have this little weighted bobber. Again, they're super easy to attach your line to. And all these bobbers you can slide up and down your line to the depth that you want um, your bait to be under the water which makes it super simple there's hundreds of little cheap baits <clears throat> excuse me that you can use to fish um, all this stuff split shots cost about a dollar the hooks cost about a dollar your jigs can get a little bit more expensive your little swivels with the clips, your bait hooks, a dollar. So all this stuff is super cheap to just go out and go fishing. And you can have a blast just with just with this little bit of stuff. You can catch bass, you can catch perch, you can catch catfish. It doesn't take much money to get started. This is all you need if you're going to take your... Uh, kids fishing 
just something and a lot of times you can buy a little kit that has all this stuff in there super easy to go fishing doesn't cost you a lot of money and I'm going to show you just a few videos of some of the, the rods and reels that you could use you want something that's easy to uh, cast they make different sizes little little poles for the kids even up to you know bigger poles for the adults and then once you the more you get into fishing you can always upgrade your equipment but to get started to get your kids started this is all you need and then plus your you know rod and reel but this is all the tackle you need it's super easy it's super fun so get out there and go fishing okay this is just really simple bait that you could use you got your worms and your wax worms now we have some reels that you can hook up to a rod these reels already come uh, with line on them they're super easy to cast and as you can see really cheap okay these rod and reel combos on this top shelf right here already have line on them and they're good for uh bigger kids and adults then you have these smaller combos uh, made for smaller kids they're usually themed they have like your barbie your hot wheels but the kids would get a kick out of it and i guess you can use them as adults too all right this shows you all the different types of bobbers there are uh, we went over some of the best ones already in the video but this gives you an idea of uh, everything out there very inexpensive you just pick the ones that you like are comfortable with and get after it and these are your hooks these are the snailed hooks you have your uh, swivels you have your slip shots all the tackle that you'll need lots to choose from and these are the lures you can use all these lures right here are good for perch and crappie they all work so find one you really like and the most important thing is get out there and go fishing all right just want to let you know that even in the shade this texas heat is getting me it is so hot right now we're not even into august usually august is our real hot month but july has been pretty hot but i want to thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something and you know like i always say go fishing i love fishing it's one of my favorite hobbies to do uh, i love it with a passion i try to go as often as i can and just take somebody fishing have a great time teach somebody how to uh, fish if you already know how take a kid fishing i love seeing these fishing rodeos that we have around town it's getting the next generation out there that loves to fish so if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button everybody that's already subscribed thank you our channel is growing i think we're like 1150 uh, subscribers which is awesome uh, hit that like button also hit that uh, notification button let you know when I put on a, another video and leave a comment I love answering comments so until next time we'll catch you later